everybody. It's Uncle Matt, and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And tonight's bedtime story is a Max and Ruby story, and it's called Max and Ruby and the Babysitting Squad by Rosemary Wells. And this book was copyright in 2020. Here we go. Max's sister, Ruby, made a big sign where everyone in town could see it. And the sign said, going out, call the babysitting squad. Louise and Ruby will take charge. We are professional and bonded. We entertain, we safeguard, call. This number down below, five, 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 six, five, six, eight. Max wanted to babysit too. No, Max, said Ruby, you're not professional. No way, are you bonded, Max, said Louise. That night, the telephone rang. Hello, said Ruby. It was Louise. We have our first job, said Louise. Mrs. Ward dropper has a beauty appointment tomorrow at nine. She wants us to take care of Percy. Next morning, Louise came early. Ruby and Louise sped to number 12 Hickory Lane. Max brought his earth mover equipment along. You have to play with those in the backyard, Max, said Ruby. Ding dong, went the ward dropper's doorbell. Percy opened the door in a skunk costume. <laughs> hi, said Ruby and Max. Oh, hi, said Ruby and Louise. We're the babysitting squad. Goodbye, said Percy. <laughs> Say hello to Louise and Ruby, Percy, said Mrs. Ward's dropper. I have a skunk stink in my outer space squirter, said Percy. Mrs. Wardropper gave Ruby, Ruby and Louise the hairdresser's number in case of emergencies. Then she was out the door. We brought lots of games, said Ruby to Percy. How about dominoes, asked Louise. Or we can build a castle, suggested Louise. Percy said, skunks don't play games. Skunks. Then, without another word, Percy vanished. Ruby and Louise looked for Percy behind the shades and in the cupboards. Was Percy hiding under the bed or behind the castle? They even looked for Percy in the shower. Where is he? asked Louise. Oh no, losing the baby on her first babysitting job, said Ruby. Here comes the skunk stink, said a voice from a heating vent. It was Percy. A cloud of vitamin mouthwash filled the air. He must be in the attic, said Ruby. Hmm. Look out, I'm preparing spider juice vapor, said Percy. Percy, come down for shoots and ladders, said Louise. We can play the xylophone, suggested Ruby. Louise served up graham crackers with grape jelly. How about setting up the cowboy village, Percy, said Louise. Out of the heating vent puffed a cloud of heavenly man aftershave. Suddenly from outdoors came a noise of rock crushing and electric zinging. Max's saw-toothed dirt bucket ear and his rock crusher were clanging 
and banging around the backyard. Percy stood at an attic window. Looking down below at the backyard, he saw it all. Want it, Percy yelled. Percy wanted to know how to work the rock crusher. Don't push the red button, said Ruby. But Percy did push the red button. It went into the sling and fling gear. Mrs. Wardhopper came home. Oh no, cried Mrs. Wardhopper. I can't tell who's who. Max had an idea. Max turned on the sprinkler so that Mrs. Wardropper would feel better. Yeah. There goes the skunk costume. Hmm. Well, that was pretty funny. I hope you enjoyed that story too. That's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. Until next time. Bye.